Welcome to Season 1, Episode 5. Today, we're heading out to Wonderstone Mountain, just outside of Fallon, Nevada. Follow along. Good morning, YouTube. We are in the truck, the SUV actually, uh, and we are heading out for a trip. Where are we going? We're going out past Fallon to a place called Wonderstone Mountain. I get a lot of my um, places that we're gonna go out of this book. It's my favorite rock hounding book for this area. And it's <clears throat> about a half hour outside of Fallon. We are going to try to get Wonderstone, which is Nevada State Rock at Wonderstone Mountain and then there are a couple other little places around there Yellow Hill and Green Mountain and uh, there are other rocks like Blue Lace Agate and Jasper that we might look forward to. I've been to Wonderstone Mountain and have gotten a lot of uh, a lot of rocks there so I know we'll be successful but this will be Corey's first time yeah. going out. Um, he doesn't hasn't in the past rock hounded as much with me but um, so he's gonna come out and learn some stuff today. So I don't know if you guys saw the video from yesterday where I was out flying the drone. Um, unfortunately, the, don't, the controller to the drone got broke. Some, somehow, when I was either flying it or charging it afterwards, the pins on the inside of the controller where you charge it and you can hook to, the, uh, to your phone so you can fly it, uh, those pins got smashed. So there won't be any drone flying today, which is really unfortunate. Um, so I've already ordered a new controller and a new cable. Um, those should be here probably in the next two weeks. And then we'll start doing some more drone stuff, uh, especially added in with the videos um, as we go. Uh, so bear with us on that. Um, part of the problem is, is when DJI sent the uh, controller and the Mavic Mini itself out they sent a ton of cords because everybody's got different types of cell phones and the lead that goes from the controller to my cell phone is not long enough and it's not uh, adapted to where I can use my case on my cell phone which to me is really important um, so I bought a, a cable from a company online thinking it would work and obviously it didn't so that's where we're at on that um, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and get started it's uh, 8 20 in the morning ish and uh, we're just gonna roll with it and we should be there in a little under like two an, hours yeah about an hour and a half yeah so we'll take some video on the way and uh, follow along And then when we come to the first fork, take a left. Don't hit that lizard. It's gonna get a little bit rocky here. The road's uh, a little bit rough. Could be worse. I 
thought we just did that one with that sign back there. Did you see a cattle car? No. Did you see a cattle car up here?
that is Yellow Hill. And we are currently on top of Wonderstone Mountain. And I've not gone over to Yellow Hill before to get any rocks, but today we're going to drive over. So this is Rhyolite, or Wonderstone, and I am looking for the Wonderstone today that can be polished easily in a tumbler, and you can tell the difference because some of this is more porous than others, and it's a lighter weight, and those don't polish as easily. So I am going to be looking for stuff like this that's pretty colorful. Um, it's not very porous and it will polish gorgeously. I am choosing small bits to go in my tumbler. So I'm looking for things with like the multicolored swirls because these hard and these are harder. Um, than the porous ones, and these will tumble the best. So, pretty vast out here. There's uh, like nothing you can see but land. There's a dry lake bed way out over there. And then just mountains. I guess you can kind of see out this way. Uh, there's some water out there and some farmhouses it looks like. But beyond that, um, there's just not a lot out here. It's pretty cool. Pretty interesting area. Hoping the audio on this turns out okay. In my headset it's coming across twice. So I don't know if that's gonna be in the video as well. If it is, we'll just voice over. Although, I'm pretty happy because you guys can't hear the wind. I found another lizard. This, this dude is chilling in the... Oops, he just hopped down. I love lizards. Lizards are my favorite. I don't know if you guys can see all this, but... Look at the colors in this. This is the difference between porous, this one's porous, and less porous. This one is the one you can tell it's shinier and it, it's harder and heavier. They will tumble better. This you can see is more like chalky and matte. And this is porous and does not polish well. It'll tumble well, but it won't get that nice shine at the end. So we are looking for this.
It's a little bit windy out here. You're hearing a little bit. It's not bad though. No, it's not bad. The mic, my mic is picking it up. So what I've done is I've moved it inside of my vest. This is uh, a vest I had in the military. Um, I bought it when I was on my first trip to Iraq and uh, I found it in a closet and it's perfect for what we're doing out here because I can store like the drone in a pouch and uh, my phone, all the different gear I need. Plus I can, uh, I can hook a, a pistol, a red holster to the uh, vest itself. And I don't have to worry about carrying all the different gear in like backpacks and stuff. So, unfortunately I tried to find one for honey online and they don't sell them anymore. Like some of these, they're too porous to tumble well, but they're just pretty. Like the swirls and stuff, so we'll keep this. So this yeah. is too porous to tumble, but we'll keep it because it's pretty. That is not too porous. This is the area most people come to get Wonderstone. Like that one's really nice. Oh, yeah, that's that. a perfect piece. So you can see, like, that big one with the swirls. I mean, yeah. even this one with the swirls is nice. see where people have been chipping away at this one which is understandable because it's a really nice rock these are just the pieces that were left behind but this again too porous to tumble I'll go get my camera and come back with that. And this one is a good one too. Basically what I'm doing today is I'm just following honey around and uh, trying to film as much of it as possible. I don't really get into rock hounding. Um, it's neat to see these places. And uh, today is, is more about just supporting what she does, what she enjoys. I think we'll go back and get some more smaller pieces 
And then maybe as we drive around, stop down at the middle section. Yeah, that's fine. And then we can get more pieces there because I know that's a lot looser. Up here, it seems you have to really have tools to dig. We and can that's revisit fine. it another time. When we have the drone. When we have the drone and the tools. I mean, this stuff isn't going anywhere. No, and people have been hounding here for decades. Right. And it's fairly clean, not much trash. I mean, there's a, a couple campfires and... Hold on. Oh, look at this. So you can see the top. It's volcanic rock. And then the inside. Like, that's a perfect little piece. Hold it still for a bit. Yeah. See the top? Yeah. It again. That has some purple in it. I don't have much from here that is more purplish, but this area looks like it was has substantial purple. This is not a good tumbler though, but it's still pretty. We had gotten a lot of video for this uh, mountain. So we decided to move on to another mountain. The other mountains that we visit on this day will be separate videos uh, because we just got so much uh, video to cover that we could make multiple videos with it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed the content and uh, we'll see you later.